Euclid Chemical can provide mixing, sampling, and testing services for fiber-reinforced concrete at their testing laboratories in Cleveland, Ohio. ASTM test methods such as C1609 for beams and C1550 for round panels, along with other European standards for measuring the performance of FRC, are conducted under controlled environments and can be set to evaluate the performance of FRC under different conditions and with varying concrete mixture designs. Not all fibers have the same manufactured physical and material properties. Proper mixing and casting procedures for fiber can have a significant impact on FRC in the field. It is very important to maintain consistency and ensure fibers are properly distributed in concrete prior to running these standardized tests. ASTM C1609 is a test conducted on large, flexural beams that measure the post-crack load carrying capacity of concrete. This test must be conducted on a closed-loop, servo-controlled machine that uses the deflection of the beam to control the load and speed of the test. These tests then evaluate how fibers perform in concrete. The data that is generated can be used by design methods such as the recently published American Concrete Institute document, ACI 544.4R. This document helps to determine how much fiber is necessary to be placed in concrete to meet specific engineering requirements. The EN 14651 test is a European version of the C1609 method, but with slight variations in the procedure and setup of the beams. ASTM C1550 is a test conducted on large panels and typically used in the shotcrete and underground industry. This test must also be performed under controlled mixing and placing conditions and tested using similar equipment. All of these test methods are designed to measure how fibers can provide residual strength to concrete or give engineering data on the capacity of concrete to maintain integrity and hold together even after concrete is cracked. Fiber manufacturers should always be ready to supply testing results with each design project to meet specification and engineering requirements. With these test results, designers can provide correct fiber dosages in comparison to distributed steel reinforcement, such as rebar or wire mesh, into many successful applications of FRC. Projects with fiber reinforced concrete should always contain proper specifications and drawing notes with engineered data coming from approved test methods. This level of detail will ensure proper placement and performance of FRC in the field. For more information on these tests, learning about proper consolidation methods and many applications using fiber reinforced concrete, or to have your next FRC project evaluated by Euclid Chemical, visit our website or contact one of our local sales representatives today.